One of the most phenomenal milestones in technological evolution was the advent of digital computers. From the early models like the ENIAC to later ones like the Macintosh PC, every new generation of computers brought a corresponding transformation and boost to basic human and communication technology. You know, you know those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? Technology is the backbone of our modern world. From programming to quantum computing and artificial intelligence, the world has entered a new age of technological breakthroughs. Not long ago, NASA, in a bid to revolutionize the tech industry, launched a quantum computer with unfathomable abilities. However, the agency has just shut down the quantum computer after something shocking and unexpected happened. What happened to NASA's quantum computer? And what does this new development mean for the tech industry and the world at large? Join us in this video as we explore how NASA shut down quantum computer after something insane happened. As the internet came along, information and communication technology, ICT, changed on a global scale. What was formerly impossible became a reality. Right now, we're in the midst of another massive revolution, namely AI. As more and more AI labs produce AI tools that cut across various technologies, there's no doubt that our world will take a new shape in the next few years. But AI isn't the only next big thing cooking right now. There's another massive development that may bring an even greater change to our world when it becomes fully operational. We are talking about quantum computing. Imagine an ultimate computer that can compute or solve problems faster than you could ever imagine by taking advantage of quantum mechanics. Such computers would be able to perform impossible calculations, make crazy future predictions, and do all sorts of amazing stuff. Right now, there are many quantum computers in universities and several tech labs across the world. However, these are miniature versions. They barely scrape the surface of what is possible with quantum computing. According to Michio Kaku, a well-renowned physicist and author, all the big tech companies are currently in a race to perfect quantum computing. While this may seem interesting, there's actually a scary side to it. You see, a truly advanced quantum computer would be able to crack any digital code. This means it would be able to hack any system, bypass any password, or do any other stuff like that, so long as it is based on digital technology. It would be the perfect hacking machine. Now imagine what would happen if such power falls into the wrong hands. This is one reason the billionaire tech investor Elon Musk earlier criticized and cautioned tech companies like Google on their overenthusiasm for AI and quantum computing. In addition, the FBI, CIA, and other top government agencies around the world are following up on any news or breakthroughs as regards quantum computing. Once the ultimate quantum computer is born, no one is safe. Add this to the already growing fear of an AI takeover, and you can see that there's a lot of uncertainty in humanity's future. But then, this doesn't change the fact that there are lots of benefits too. Quantum computers are the next generation of computers, so it's only natural that they become a reality. In case you're wondering how quantum computers work and what makes them so special, here's the full gist. Your quantum computers operate on the principles of quantum mechanics. Our regular computers store data in bits, representing them as a series of zeros and ones. This is commonly called binary form, in which one represents an on bit, whereas zero represents an off bit. However, all of that changes when it comes to quantum computers. Rather than using bits, quantum computers work with qubits. These qubits are more sophisticated because they can hold data as both zeros and ones simultaneously, thanks to a unique ability called superposition. As a result, quantum computers can handle parallel complex calculations at the same time, thereby speeding up tasks and processes beyond what is currently possible in ICT. Another fascinating thing in quantum computing is the entanglement property. 
Entanglement is the connection of multiple qubits. It is when multiple qubits share a single quantum state. This property allows two or more qubits to behave and function the same way, on the same level, regardless of the distance between them. At this point, two or more quantum systems can be so strongly correlated that any new data or information pertaining to one is automatically updated to the other, regardless of how far apart they are. This is one of the wonders of quantum computing. By leveraging on superposition and entanglement, quantum computers can perform impossible tasks or process a ton of data all at once. Truly, quantum computers are the computers of the future. But how did the idea for these computers come about, and when? Well, as said earlier, the entire idea of quantum computers is based on the quantum theory which deals with the behavior and energy of matter on the subatomic level. And so, the concept of the quantum computer dates back to the 20th century when scientists first developed quantum theory. However, given the low level of technology at the time, there wasn't much any scientist or scholar could do on the topic. Merely developing a simple quantum mechanics system was a huge problem, much more developing an advanced quantum machine that could process data. And so, it wasn't until the mid-1990s that we began to see profound improvements in the concept of quantum mechanics. In 1935, Albert Einstein introduced a unique concept called the EPR paradox. This helped explain the concept of entanglement particles. After that, a few scientists took their shot at creating a tangible quantum mechanics system but nothing significant really happened until the 1980s. In 1982, the idea of quantum computers was born, thanks to a physicist named Paul Benioff. He explained these computers as computers that would harness the power of quantum mechanics. From there on, everyone in the world of science and technology became excited and eager to see this dream come true. They perceived that quantum computers would be able to do the wildest things that regular computers would never be able to. With time, scientists conducted varying research to understand the working principles of quantum mechanics and see how they could be harnessed. In 1998, a team of researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory created a small quantum computer that featured two qubits. Their invention was done using nuclear magnetic resonance techniques, but it was very limited compared to what you'd expect from an ideal quantum computer. However, this was still a remarkable milestone for the scientific community. By the early 2000s, multiple tech companies and research groups had begun to work on quantum computers of their own. With the internet and other aspects of technology improving, it wasn't long before significant breakthroughs emerged. In 2001, International Business Machines Corporation, IBM, invented the IBM qubit. This was a seven-qubit quantum computer that could solve certain problems and calculations that were unsolvable at the time. In 2005, a research team at the University of Innsbruck and the National Institute of Standards and Technology built a five-qubit working quantum computer. By 2007, another phenomenal milestone was reached as researchers at Yale University created stable qubits with the help of solid-state systems. In 2010, the Chinese University of Science and Technology achieved a concept called quantum teleportation. In other words, they were able to teleport information successfully from one quantum qubit to another that was miles away. Any way you look at it, you'd agree that this achievement was quite fascinating. But the most outstanding and monumental milestone in the evolution of quantum computing came in the year 2013. This was when Google partnered with NASA to create something revolutionary, the D-Wave. The D-Wave was a groundbreaking invention. It not only superseded all the classic computers of its time, but also surpassed every other quantum computer that came before it. Moreover, NASA and Google had planned to make it a commercial computer, meaning they would sell it to anyone who could afford it. However, just as the project was gaining momentum, something unexpected happened. The government showed up and requested the project be shut down. 
and so NASA had to shut down the project with no hope of when to reopen it. The unexpected shutdown took a toll on this project. Thanks for watching. Show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications.